What are the changes that have been made today to the Microsoft MB910 exam and how can you prepare for them? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. The MB910 exam is a fundamental exam. That's what the 9 means. Usually it's 900, but with the MB Microsoft Dynamics 365, we have got the MB910 and the MB920. The MB910 is customer focused. CRM standing for Customer Relationship Management. And so it covers the features and capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Insights. And it says journeys, but it also covers data as well. Now, Customer Insights Journeys is the relatively new name for Dynamics 365 Marketing. It also covers sales, customer service, and field service. And if we scroll down, we can see those are the things which are being measured Together, we've explored the core capabilities of customer engagement apps in Dynamics 365. Now, they are weighted some 15 to 20% or so. Now, changes which have happened today, March the 26th, will mean that the weighting for sales has increased from 15 to 20% 20 to 20 to 25%, the same as a customer service. This meant that the core capabilities section has been reduced by 5%. So let's have a look at the detailed changes. And a huge number of the changes are related to Copilot. So Copilot is Microsoft's version of AI. And we've got describe how to use Copilot with customer insights journeys. Microsoft Sales Copilot or Copilot in Sales. Copilot in Customer Service. And Copilot in Field Service. Now, you can get a free trial for Microsoft Dynamics 365 from this web address. You just need a work email to sign in, and then you can click on Try it Free, and that will give you a free 30-day trial. And once you finish that 30-day trial, you can get another one and another, but the data does not carry forward from one trial to the next. So if I go to Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Journey, you can see that we've got this co-pilot icon and it's available in various places in Dynamics 365. It can be used for a number of things, such as asking questions, help drafting emails, drafting responses and chats, and so on. So you could have a good look around each of these apps and try and find out where the co-pilot symbol is and what you can do with it. Now, you can also use Dynamics 365 Customer Insights data. Now, this has been expanded somewhat in that previously you asked to give the use cases and capabilities of it, but now you have to go into a bit more detail for the data unification and the various insights, segments, measures, and predictions. So for this, you would need a free trial. So I've got a free trial here with my marketing trial, as opposed to the demo data and then bring in your data sources and then unify them through selecting the particular tables and columns, deduplicating them in the individual columns, and then merging them together and creating a unified data view. You should also have a look at the various insights, measures, segments, and predictions to have a look at the demo version of each of those and see what the defaults are. If we now turn to Dynamics 365 Sales, I need to go into the app settings to have a look at the product catalog. So we've got the families and products. So families are groups of products. We've also got price lists and unit groups. So unit groups are things like millimeter, centimeter, meter. So those are all related units which can be put together into a group. And price lists are full of individual catalogues of prices which can then be grouped together with individual products making product price lists. In addition, you also need to know more specifics about the sales accelerator. So this gives a work list. And if I click on one of these, in addition to being able to filter and sort and other things, there is also an up next for each individual item in your work list. 
going to customer service and having a look at one of these items, then you need to have more information about not just the co-pilot, including writing an email, but also about the smart assist, the agent scripts, and the knowledge search. I would also have a look at the customer service admin center because there is also in the agent experience productivity things about macros and custom productivity tools. So if you have a look at macros, for instance, and have a look at one of the demo versions, so resolve case, then we can see that it starts with a trigger and then goes through various actions. You should also know a bit more about Omnichannel, not just what it looks like from an agent's point of view, but also from a supervisor. And then finally, you should know things about SharePoint integration. So SharePoint can host your files and it can integrate with Dynamics 365, but also your Word integration. So, so if I go to a particular opportunity, so here's an opportunity, and I create a quotation, a quote. So here's one I created earlier. Then you will note that you are able to download in the Word templates section a quote for the customer and a quote summary. So this creates a standalone Microsoft Word document. So these are the changes which have happened with the MB910 exam. So it's a lot of expansions, especially about Copilot, with no reduction in anything else. So none of the other topics have been removed. Now, if you'd like assistance with any of these, then please go to our website, idodata.com, where you'll find a link to our MB910 course. It has been expanded with all of these additional items, including Copilot, and in around six hours, it will take you through all of these sections. So for more information, please go to our website, idodata.com. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.